Hey, what's up guys, it's Eric with Painting Business Pro and this video is about how to start a painting business even if you don't have experience painting. Um, I've gotten this question quite a bit lately, oddly, and so I decided to make a video about this for people out there who are like, hey, I'd really like to start a painting company. I see an opportunity, but I'm not a painter. I don't really have painting experience. Can I start a painting business? The answer is yes, and that's what we're gonna cover in this video. Now, I will say real quick to everyone, anyone out there who's like, I have a painting experience and it's valuable. It is valuable, and you definitely have an edge if you have painting experience, but it doesn't mean that someone without it can't start a business. So my background, you know, it was back in 2004, I got hired as an intern for a college painting company, and the internship was, they would coach me and mentor me to run a painting business over the spring and summer. So I knocked on doors, I sold paint jobs, I hired the painters, I managed the projects, I delivered great, great product uh, projects to my customers, and I made profit. And then the next five years, I coached and trained other college students, about 100 of them, to start their own painting company over the spring and summer. So they knocked doors, sold jobs, hired the painters, managed the projects, and finished the projects. And I was accountable for all of those clients. So we did about, I oversaw about $2.5 million worth of paint jobs in six years with a bunch of college students who had no background in painting and no background in business. So then I started my painting company out of school. And in 2013, when I started Painting Business Pro, I thought, hey, I'm gonna teach people how to start a painting company because that's what I did, that's what I've done for the last almost 10 years, that's what I'm gonna teach. And that's what I did in the very early days of Painting Business Pro, I was teaching people how to start a painting business even if you didn't have a background in painting. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Um, so let's kind of jump in how that works. So um, the first thing is that you know, the, way, the reason that's possible is because the painting, you know, painting is, is fairly simple. All right, it's not easy. Being a great painter, let me be really clear, being a great painter is not easy. But the business of running a painting business is pretty simple and pretty easy. All right, we're not developing software, we're not in the medical field, like we're painting houses. All right, you know, a lot of people, this is a project that a lot of people do on their own, you know, and, and more people do their interior painting than their exterior painting, but you can, it's a do it yourself type project. So it's not rocket science. Um, the trade of painting and being a master painter definitely is, but you're not going to start that way. You're not going to come in and do all the, all the things that it's done. You're going to start your business really simple and slowly make it more complicated, all right, which is a good business practice. Even if you're, if you're someone who does have painting experience, you still should keep your business fairly simple. Just because you can do any project someone throws at you doesn't mean you should. Keeping a business simple helps. So, what do I mean by keeping it simple? Well, what I mean is you focus on simple jobs at first. Okay, so what we did with all these college students is we only do exterior repaints that were built in the last 20 years. They're track homes, they're all pretty simple, they're all pretty easy. If it's a really crazy house, we wouldn't do it. If it was a really old house with lead paint, we wouldn't do it. If it was interior, we wouldn't do it. If it's commercial, we wouldn't do it. Just, we kept it simple with exterior repaints for a few reasons. Number one, um, there, it's easier schedule-wise. Number two, it's easier to do a good job. It's easier to hire painters. If you spill paint, it's easier to clean it than if you spill it on somebody's sofa or their grandfather clock. All right, so there's a lot more room for error. It's easy scheduling. It's easy to find people to do it. People are a little less picky um, you know, than they are gonna be on interior. So it makes it a lot easier, but the biggest reason is you don't have to know that much to do uh, a good job. So this is what goes into making a great paint job. So the first thing is you gotta have good prep work. All right, so if, you know, in order for me to deliver a good job, a good paint job, I've gotta do good prep work. What that means is I need to be able to identify problems on a house, the, core, the key problems that are on an exterior paint job. I need to know the most the, the best solution for those problems. And I need to know how those, those, were, those solutions were done. All right, so when I'm meeting with a customer, I can say, hey, you see this, this issue here? This is what we recommend doing for it. This is how this should be handled. Do you want us to do that? Cool. And then when I hire my painters, I'm like, hey, this is what you do. And you're gonna hire painters who know how to do that prep work, but you need to know how to identify it and what prep work should be done. All right, and on exterior jobs, there's only like five or six main problems you're gonna run into. You're gonna run into peeling paint, rotted wood, fading, cracking. There might be a couple other little things you'll run into depending on your location in the country or in the world, but 
there's like five or six problems. And, and I literally have one page in my course that says, hey, here's all the main problems on houses. Here's where you find them. Here's how you find them. Here's the solution. Here's why that's the solution. And that's what you got to know. So if we do a good job with prep work, then we got to use good materials. Your paint rep will tell you what materials to use, or you can Google and find out the best paint in no time. All right, you need to keep a job site clean. That has nothing to do with background. You, any, any person can walk around the house and be like, there's drips right there, or there's trash all over the yard. The other thing is the finished product. Every single client we do a job for, we do a final walkthrough with them. And if we, if we miss things, which this happens all the time where the painter says, job's done, and then I walk around and I'm like, no, it's not. There's a touch up there. There's a touch up there. There's a little drip of paint there. There's a touch up there. And that's happened with clients where then I walk them around and they're like, oh, I think there's a thing right there. So you're perfectly qualified to inspect the job just as if you would if someone was painting your mother's house. So these things are really not complicated if you keep it simple. The big differentiator here is, is customer's experience. So you can deliver good prep, good materials, keep it clean, have a good finished product. The real differentiator is, is providing a good experience. And so we'll come back to that in a minute, but that's, that's your opportunity in this industry is to provide a better experience. You still need to provide all these. So we'll come back to that. So anyways, we're gonna start simple. Um, so the type of work, you're gonna do just exterior residential repaints. You're gonna sell a couple of those jobs. You're gonna get some good reviews. You're gonna hire your subcontractors or painters, make sure they're doing a good job. And once you're in the flow and you're like, hey, we're, we're doing really good, I've got this figured out. Now we're gonna do like a little bit more difficult exterior job because I know the skill of my guys. I could just ask them, hey guys, I've got a bid for this type of job. Have you done it before? Can you do it? Talk to your paint rep, get educated there, and you start to expand your, your type of services you'll do. And then maybe you start to do simple interiors and then more complex interiors. And over time, you start to build out your suite of services, right, that you're gonna provide. And you do it because you just do it really slow when you're confident and ready. Um, one other little note here is there's like a little bit of an impact on marketing. So this is why there is an, an advantage to having experience. If you've been painting for 10 years or you're a subcontractor or you've been painting with your dad for a long time, this is way easier because you can immediately tackle all these different types of projects. Um, if you're just doing exteriors, for example, you, you can't pay for marketing for only exterior jobs. It may be with like Facebook ads or something, but most of the marketing you do, you're gonna get customers who want exterior, customers who want interior, and you're gonna be turning down customers. So your marketing expenses will be a little higher early on, which is fine, there's plenty of profit in this business, and it's better than trying to just do things you're not qualified for. And then over time, your marketing costs will come down as you add more services. Okay, so that's how we, we start the business really simple. Now, how do you learn the basics? So even starting simple with exterior repaints, there's still some basics you need to know, like what is the prep I need to do and the problems I need to look out for? What are the products? And those are the main things you need to know to be able to tell a customer what you recommend and tell your contractor what needs to be done and then you inspect it. So how do you learn? Well, the first thing is in my training program, I teach people the basics. All right, so if you, if you follow the Painting Business Pro Training Program, you're gonna get the, at least the basics. But you shouldn't stop there. If you're gonna be a painting contractor, you should be like aggressively educating yourself about your trade. And there's endless ways that you can educate yourself. Imagine you were just a, a homeowner and you were gonna paint your own house. What would you do? Well, you'd probably go and say like, hey, how to paint my own house. And you're gonna find a whole bunch of articles on do-it-yourself articles on how to paint a house. You're gonna find videos on how to paint a house. You can talk to your paint rep and just be honest with them. Hey, I'm new, I'm starting out. What are the main problems I need to look for on houses out here? And what are the solutions to those? And what products do you recommend using for those? And go do a little bit of homework. If you're not committed to doing some of your own homework to learn the trade that you're gonna be running as a business, then you shouldn't start this business. All right, but if you are serious about like, hey Eric, there's a huge opportunity in the painting industry, I wanna capitalize on it, the information is there. All right, so you start simple and you educate yourself with some research. You could do this research in like a matter of a week or two. All right, it's not a ton in order for you to make recommendations to a client and get them a good quote and then tell your contractors what to do and to be able to inspect it. Now, if you were gonna be doing the painting yourself, 
I don't have advice for you. If you don't have painting experience, do not do the painting yourself. But the best way to build a business is not doing the painting. Learning the trade, becoming a great painter, that's different. But as the business owner, your job is to quote clients, hire people, and tell them what needs to be done and then make sure it gets done. All right, and that's something you can learn in a fairly short amount of time. Um, and why you can do it um, is professionalism and character. All right, so there's a lot of, I mean, a lot of painting contractors out there and painters out there who do really good prep work, they use good materials, they keep it clean, there's a good finished product. It's this experience that's really lacking in this whole industry. Um, I don't see it getting that much better. It's, you know, people who operate with integrity, who treat clients with like the utmost respect and care, um, who are super professional, who are following good business building principles. Look, most painting contractors don't have a business plan. If you have a business plan, you're going to be ahead of the game. Most painting contractors don't have estimating procedures, like step-by-step, -step, systematic estimating procedures to get the right price. Most painting contractors don't have benchmarks for marketing, for sales, for job sizes, for profit. Most don't have these fundamental business systems in place. So that's why you can succeed in this industry, is if you have a high, high level of character and integrity and professionalism, and you build a business like a business, and you don't take shortcuts. So yes, if you don't have uh, painting experience, you can definitely start this business, but do your research, there's no shortcuts. And uh, I think that's all I got for you today. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and we'll talk to some of you guys soon. Hey, what's up? It's Eric with Painting Business Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. One of the questions that I get all the time is, Eric, do you have advice for me about this or about this situation or that situation? I get asked for advice all the time and the answer is always like, yeah, I definitely have advice for that. Um, but the truth is, the best advice I have to offer isn't something I can send in an email, it's not something I can you know, answer quickly on the phone, and it's not even something I can answer in a YouTube video because the best advice I have is how you build a truly great company. And how you build a truly great company, it takes time, there's a lot of depth, there's a lot of detail, a lot of specifics because you've got to develop yourself to be a great business owner and a great leader and there's no short answer to that. So how I answer that question, how I help people build great companies and become great leaders is in the Painting Business Pro training program. So if you're interested in building a really great painting company, you can learn more about that program by clicking the link below this video. Um, and there's a quick video all about the program, what we do, how it works. So if you're interested, um, click the link below the video and check it out.